All right, guys, day number four of the vlog. Today, we're going to be heading to Mammoth Lake. You can see our hotel. We're pretty much cleaned up everything. How are you guys doing today? Amma, how are you doing? Doing good. Sonam? Definitely good. Hala, how are you? Putting shoes here. Here, look at my shoes. So, yeah. All right, we're heading out now. Jacket, jacket. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the car. All right, guys. So we pretty much explored everything that Mammoth has to offer for yesterday, uh, with Silver Lake, Grant Lake, and June Lake. So today, we're gonna be uh, going to Mono Lake, which we couldn't go to, exploring that, and then also uh, going back to Grant Lake, June Juno Lake, June Lake, and then um, of course Silver Lake. So yeah, get excited. One more thing guys, quick 360 of where we're staying at today. I mean where we stayed at. Hello. Hello. Oh, the mountains are looking good today. Yeah, can you put this in the back of me? Yeah. Alright guys, we're heading to Mono Lake. Let's go. Currently 9.33 a.m. Mono Lake is an hour and 30 minutes away. 63 something miles. Let's go. But first, we need to get some gas. Now, Mono Lake is actually a pretty big lake. It's like half the size of Lake Tahoe. Now, I know we went there yesterday, but my mom wanted to go there again today because the weather yesterday was really cloudy. All right, we're good to go. Let's get going to Mono Lake. All right, guys, Ama is driving. Change driving, right? Driver. We change the driver. How are you doing today, Amma? Good, good. check out all the skis and the whole mountain that you saw back there so uh, let's go check it out I'm all guys on okay Heading back to the car now. All right, back <sighs> to Mono Lake. We are here at Mono Lake. Unfortunately, it's still foggy like yesterday, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'll see you guys there. All right, y'all, we're here at Mono Lake and um, at the visitor center just like we were yesterday. And uh, you, looks like it might have snowed last night because all the um, plants are all like 
white and it's all these little snow knuckles. See all these, all the plants are white. It's kind of nice. But you can see the lake right there, but it is cloudy. I don't know why there's so many clouds above it. That's the visitor center we were went to yesterday. And then, um, actually, I don't know, this snow feels weird. But anyways, that's the sign right there. That's the sign right there, Mono Basin. Looks like it's closed during the winter, so that's why there's no one here, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. it looks like it probably did snow. You saw the field. It's like a field over there, too. Yeah, look at all this, guys. That's cool. Oh my god, Salam. Uh, so, like, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later, see what we're doing. Let's go, guys, Mono Bay. Yeah, you right. That yeah. from I think it snowed yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes. What it looks like. Mono Lake is in the extreme western edge of the Great Basin. Streams and rivers around here never reach the ocean and instead reach Mono Lake, which has no outlet. The streams carry small amounts of salt and minerals into the lake where they build up over thousands of years. In fact, Mono Lake is one of the oldest lakes in North America. The lake is twice as salty as the ocean and very alkaline. Alright y'all, we've arrived here at Mono Lake at the bottom. You can see it. We're gonna try to aim to go to those rocks you can see over there. We're gonna also hike a little bit and enjoy Mono Lake. So uh, yeah, let's go. Elevation is 6,348 feet. Actually guys, on second thought, my mom said the hike was too long. So we're gonna go along the road and try to find closer ones uh, that we can find. So uh, yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so we were trying to find the rocks, but we couldn't actually find any good ones. So we ended up just exploring and we actually ended up finding a really good spot up here. And it's not the rocks, but it's um a really nice scene with trees. You'll see what I mean. Let me show you guys. So, yeah, these are the trees we're talking about. Also, if it feels like it's snowing, it's not all the tr all the snow from the trees because the sun is falling down. It's the snow from the trees. Ooh, this tree is big. Go, angels! Come on. Oh, you suck. At least I did good. So apparently there's a playground over there. So me and Sonam and everyone else are heading over there to see the playground. <laughs> All right guys, here, this is the playgrounds that he found. Pretty nice. All right, guys, we're heading back to the car now. All right, guys, let's keep driving. Got some snacks. <clears throat> All the orange juice. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're here in Highway 120. Now this road is closed in the winter, so like if you go, yeah this goes to Yosemite and it's usually one hour 
30 minutes but unfortunately this road is closed on the winter um if you keep going up it's closed and so that's why uh if this, since this is closed you're gonna have to go the other way and that takes around seven hours six and a half so if you wanted to go right now it take six and a half hours to yosemite because this road is closed in the winter but um they do allow you to go a little bit and so this is what it looks like a little bit up in yosemite Alright, in the middle of the road. Alright y'all, so no one's here. Because this road is typically closed. We're heading out again. Let's keep driving. All right, guys, this is the part where the road is closed that I was mentioning. You can see this road is right closed here. They plowed all of this, but still a lot of road over there. So that's kind of how it looks like the snow without being plowed. But yeah. So yeah, this is where you would usually go. Highway 120 for Yosemite. But since it's winter season, the thing's blocked, so we have to go to a round way. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Alright, we're going to be heading back now. Uh, let's keep driving, guys. All right, guys, so we are here in uh, Mono Lake, but it's the South Tapa or Tupa, South Tupa. I think that's what it's called. And we're here and there's really nobody here either. Unlike the other one, you can see there's nobody here. We're gonna hike over here and uh, see the Tupas over there. You guys can get a closer look. It's like a little hiking trail to get over there. Right here. All right, let's go. 6,410 feet is the elevation. Are you excited, Ama? Because when Ama first saw Mono Lake, these two uh, two pods were the thing that attracted her to this lake. You like it? Yeah. All right, let's keep hiking. Oh, here are the first two fuzz. Here are the first ones. Alright guys, looks like we are here. Two fuzz. Alright guys, so Mono Lake is actually predicted to be a million years old. I'm not even joking, you can search it up. Now, you see these things right here, they're called tufas, and these tufas actually result from calcium-rich spring water, which are bubbling up from the bottom of the lake into the alkaline lake water. The calcium carbonate limestone towers are constantly forming underwater, and these tufa towers, or at least the ones that are visible, formed underwater when the lake's water levels were much higher. So, the water levels in the lake probably went down from all those thousands of years. Alright y'all, so, you guys, that's what a two tufa is, as you guys heard. But uh, now that we've explored the tufas, I think we're gonna go back. Uh, yeah. Also, y'all, there's no fish or anything like that in these rivers because the river is too salty for them to survive. Anyways, 
Uh, here are a few clips that I found that were pretty interesting and some pretty interesting Tufa formations. Back in the car. Let's go. All right, guys, another stop, but this time to eat. So we're gonna be eating some food here, and we actually found a really good location. Let me show you guys. It's a pretty open lane, it's in a dirt road. And then there's a lake right there. Not a lake, what am I saying? It's a little stream slash river. This is actually uh, this river. The source is Mono Lake, what we just went to, so it's kind of neat. I think you could go fishing in here. I think that's what people do. They go fishing. I came from there to here. See how it is here. All right, y'all, I apologize, but I ended up taking a bunch of these little clips because I thought it was pretty nice. My mom and dad are on the side cooking too, so I might have done it to like kind of pass the time. But uh, yeah, here are the clips and uh, yeah, they're just for fun. But anyways, uh, let's move on now. All right, I'm gonna head back and eat some food. Right over there, let's go. All right, guys, so, Sona and me got back. Now we're gonna eat. You can see Amma's cooking some very nice food. Uh, Korean noodle. Emergency food. Oh, Alright, guys, got our food. Alright, we're gonna eat now. Amma, thank you so much. Amma got her food too. <laughs> Enjoy guys. Why don't you sign up? Alright guys, we finished eating. Good to go. Let's go guys. Alright guys, so we just finished all of our food. We're good to go. We're on the car and um our dad, everyone, we just decided where are we going Bala today? Yes. Yay! Yeah. 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 Alright. Six mile mother. All right, we're gonna head to uh, Yosemite National Park, and uh, we're gonna go as far as we can, rest, and then tomorrow morning go as far as we can and explore. So our next destination is Yosemite National Park. Let's go. All right, y'all, on the way to Yosemite, let's go. Now, usually, if we wanted to go to Yosemite from Mammoth, we'd go to the Tioga Pass, which is Highway 120 to the east gate of Yosemite. Now, that gate is unfortunately closed in the winter, so we had to go the long way, which is from Highway 89, which connects to Highway 88, and it's like a full loop to the west side of Yosemite. Anyways, here we are. We're going to Yosemite. Enjoy. Let's go, guys. The road to Yosemite National Park. Here we come. Let's go!
a quick little stop on the way to Yosemite. You guys saw it before, but this is really nice. All right, let's be let's head back on the road. All right, guys, so we decided to take a little detour. We had plenty of time to spare, so we decided to explore this little area called Virginia Lakes. Let's go. Bye. Bye. y'all so we've apparently stopped here at uh virginia lakes now this is like six miles off the main road and all those scenic views before were coming up to here so uh let's see taking a couple pictures i think yeah virginia lakes is frozen yeah we'll go check it out but I think it's frozen. No, it probably is. Look at this, guys. Snow is like basically dust. No, 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 please. It's it's just getting out of my hands. Okay, I'm gonna jump. All right, guys. This is a frozen lake. Virginia Lake. Look at this. Don't jump in water. This lake, you're gonna sit down. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. Boys. Yeah. What are you trying, Sono? See if it's uh, strong enough okay. to, for me to stand on. Okay, it is. You see, it's Look at Bala. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you. Oh, no. Wait, we could have just gone down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Here's a picture we took together and uh, let's head back. All right, guys, we're leaving now. All right, let's get back to the car. All right, y'all, we're back in the car. It's really cold out here. I think the elevation's pretty high, too. All right, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. It was really cold up there, but uh, here are a few pictures I took. Uh, let's head back now. All right, y'all, let's head back to the main road. It is cold right now. Hey guys it's 606 we just bought our hotel hi sono hello uh it's in topaz lake i'll see you guys inside the room because it's really dark right now all right guys we're here at our hotel it's called topaz lodge it's very beautiful i'll see you guys in our room we're actually in nevada now but yeah i'll tell you guys later let's we'll see you guys in our room right now 
we're actually going to go get the keys for our rooms in the office right now so let's go all right guys so we parked our car right there this is our hotel room after we got checked in you can see it's pretty nice there's a gas station right next door so we're gonna go buy some stuff from the general store after too we're room number 93 Very warm in here, right, Bala? Yeah. yeah. Then this is the bathroom, y'all. All right. Well, that's our room, and uh, thanks for watching. That's gonna conclude day number four. I'm very tired. We're all very tired. Let's actually go here. We are all very tired. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Also, I forgot to tell you, we're in Nevada now. Nevada. So yeah, we'll be uh. You told them that. We'll be we'll be back in uh California really soon tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we're in Nevada now. Bye.